Hi guys, how you doing there? Um, so basically today I just want to show you some uh, examples of um, commercial solar and the reason commercial solar just really makes sense. Um, any solar, the more you can self-consume, the better it is. And we'll just start with this customer. This is a residential customer that has a huge air conditioner. Um, so basically, if you think about it like this, yeah, they're, they're you know, up in the morning using their energy, um, off to work for the day, and then it's just sort of the base load running here all day long. The brown is self-consuming and yellow is what's actually feeding back to the grid and purple is what they're purchasing uh, from the grid. Um, so this is a typical customer um, that sort of works over a day, solar feeds back to the grid all day and then they come home and crank the air conditioner up of an afternoon and yeah, this is quite a large air conditioner. Um, so this customer here on average, you know, they're spending $100 a week um, on energy and saving $34 from using solar. So um, the more you can self-consume that solar day, the better it is. And we'll go to another residential customer here. So this is more of a typical customer. Um, we see we've got this morning usage here. The system feeds back to the grid all day. Customer comes home, turns a few things on, washing, laundry, that sort of stuff, goes to bed, comes up the next day. Um, so this is more of a residential profile. And this is why I suppose a lot of people say, oh, look, I installed solar and I didn't save hardly anything from it. Um, because basically of a day here, you, you know, on average you're selling it from eight to 10 cents a kilowatt hour, unless you get a really good rate with your energy provider. It's something to be aware of. Uh, there are some companies that do solar savings programs, which you can get up to 20 cents. So um, pretty much only for residential, not for commercial though. So at home makes you earn a really good export rate for that there. Um, so yeah, a lot of customers install solar and I just didn't save what I thought I was going to save purely because you know, the system feeds back all day and then they use all this energy overnight. Um, so the more energy you can use of day, the better the numbers actually are. So this customer here, uh, based in this week here, they've saved $20 from their solar usage and what they've fed back to the grid. And so they've actually only spent 57 cents on energy this week um, on their solar system, which is great. This customer is a very small energy user. So um, the system produced about 15 kilowatts for the day. It's a little three kilowatt solar system and they used about 11. So um, by the looks of those numbers there, this customer has a really good feed-in rate um, from their provider. Okay, so let's jump into another commercial, um, okay, here. So as you can see, the more you use of a day, um, so remember purple is what you're buying. Um, this blue here is um, another sub circuit that we've got monitored, but this is what they're self-consuming today. Yellow is going back to the grid and they're buying here. So the more you can use of a day, the better it is. Uh, this is quite a large solar system. It's a 13 and a half kilowatt. This customer here saved $87 in this week uh, and they've still spent $80 on energy um, for this business here. So, um, so they are saving over half of what they would typically pay on an energy bill um, by using solar of a day. So, okay, let's go to the next one. Here we go. So this is a customer. Uh, this is actually the bison farm, um, the Ariane bison farm. They're American bison down uh, in Myrtle Creek, which is a south of casino in New South Wales. If you haven't been there, get out there. It's a pretty cool place to go check out, the Adventure Tourist Park. Um, yeah, so basically these guys here, uh, I know we've saved $1,500 on bill off their, a quarter of their bills from since we put the new solar system in. Um, they had an old one in. We basically redesigned it, reshuffled some things around, and... These guys, have, their energy bills used to be about $2,000 a quarter, and now they're down to 500 bucks, which is great. Um, so these guys have a very consistent energy load. Um, so basically that blue line there is uh, the air conditioner basically being run, um, is what that is there. And it says lighting, we'll get rid of consumed. Um, so yeah, that's the air conditioner being run all night long. So sometimes the best investment actually is in energy efficient appliances. Um, this air con pulling 1.4 kilowatts all night long, uh, it looks like it's not cycling. Um, so, you know, by upgrading and putting a new air conditioner on like an inverter type technology that turns on and off, uh, would save these guys some energy. We'll get rid of that. Um, and this red line here is basically the pool pump. Um, this is something really simple that we fixed and had uh, put on a timer. 
you know, if you go back a long time ago, I'll actually see if we can pull it up. Let's go back and see November. June, we'll just pick a day here in June, update. Okay, here's a good example uh, and why consumption and monitoring is so important. So the pool pump, um, yeah, it was on all day long. And then bang, it would turn off um, and come back on and run to ridiculous hours. So having this monitoring installed really helped us get that pool pump and find out what was going on, where the energy was getting consumed. Um, and fix that pull pump to have it only run of a day. So literally it's getting run from the hours where solar is getting self-consumed. So we'll jump over to two businesses here, which um, this is a different monitoring platform. This is Solar Edge. This is a monitoring that comes um, included in the inverter we use for our commercial jobs with Solar Edge. So pretty similar. Green is what's getting fed back to the grid. Blue is getting self-consumed and red is what's buying from the grid. Um, so this customer here, um, they were using um, you know, about 50 kilowatt hours a day before they installed solar. Um, now they've reduced their consumption with the monitoring and the system produced about 70 kilowatt hours a day. Um, so ideally we want everything within this middle of the day. These guys have a hot water system, which we've talked to them about diverting more to the day. So something we're gonna get around to is um, taking that hot water. So rather than heating the hot water service of the night, we're gonna have it sort of heats of the day. Um, it's an Australian product we use called Catch Power. And Solar Edge actually have one of their own devices as well um, to do that with. So um, it's just taking a slow load. We'll pop over to another one here where this one's loaded. So this is uh, actually one of my favorite designs, this system here. Um, I ideally love facing panels different ways on roofs. Um, so this job here basically has um, panels flat to roof. Um, facing north, and then also has some panels on tilt frames facing west. You can see in this here, basically when the air conditioner gets turned off and everyone goes home, the system just starts to drop. So I really love how this system here, it's really self-consumption. Uh, the customer pretty much is always using energy from their solar system. And this solar system here is what's gonna pay back itself from a financial point of view a lot faster um, because they're always self-consuming. Uh, very rarely do these guys buy energy from the grid. Uh, it's pretty much, you know, a base trickle load of a night. Um, any of the big air conditioned use and stuff like that when the business is trading is always from solar, which is great. Uh, from a renewable point of view, the customer is self-consuming that energy. And um, also from a financial review point of view. So, yeah, so commercial solar really pays for itself because, you know, most businesses that operate somewhere between the hours of nine to four, very rarely. And like I know these guys here, um, this is sort of at quarter to five, uh, 4.30, the aircon sort of turned off and everyone goes home. Um, if this business traded to five o'clock uh, with their aircon running, they would be just buying a little bit of energy from the grid every afternoon. So um, it'd be tiny. What's fed back to the grid would pretty much cover that cost. Um, but pretty much nine to four in most commercial businesses, if you have the roof space, we can design a system where you can self-consume everything of a day that you use. So yeah, self-consumption solar. Um, is what you really, you know, is the best solution from an environmental point of view and a financial payback point of view. Um, when you look at these residential systems, very rarely, um, if your system feeds back to the grid all day long and you come home and use your energy, very rarely does solar pay for itself um, in the period of time. So it's really important that um, you can self-consume that solar. So commercial solar just really makes sense. And also having this monitoring uh, installed, I know for the Ariane Bison Farm here, um, yeah, we, we were limited to what we could feed back to the grid and sort of the system we could consume. So where we invested our time and energy in was to reduce that nighttime usage. And we found, put this monitoring, we found things like this pool pump running all night long. Um, where now we have that pool pump on a timer, comes on another day, so it's actually all free from solar. And um, it doesn't actually require to use any energy overnight, um, which a pool pump is not necessarily run overnight. Um, so having that on a timer has really made a huge difference in um, uh, what we could actually save them on their bills. So, oh, here we go. Um, the pool pump was run last night, so something's gone wrong there. Oh, there we go. Um, 
Cool. So that's another great example of where, you know, yesterday um, that pull pump actually did not turn off. So I can actually contact those guys and I say, hey, guys, something's wrong with the timer on the pull pump. It is running all night. So there we go. That is on. Without this monitoring, we could not figure that out and we'd be able to see that information. What would happen is the customer would get a bill three months later and say, hey, um, my energy usage has gone up. I haven't saved as much, but you've already spent that money. There's nothing you can do about it. So uh, this is a great example. I'll be able to get onto them today and give them a call and say, hey, um, it looks like the pool pump has actually gone back to being manual, which does happen. There's just staff uh, dealing with staff. They turn the timer off. It's gone back to manual. Um, which is very like what's happened. So therefore, this is going to use energy or not. So um, cool. So yeah, commercial solar guys really make sense financially. Um, any questions, give us a call. And uh, get on to going and give them the Bison Farm a call and get them to sort their pool pump, pool pump timer out. So thanks for watching.